What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna try out steelhead fishing. Uh, I've never fished for steelhead before, or salmon for that matter. I'm super excited to be out here. Uh, let me show you what I'm using. So, what I'm using is, I've got my seven foot medium heavy lose American Hero bait casting rod and reel. And then I've just got this size three um, Blue Fox Vibrax spinner. And so I'm gonna try throwing that around for some steelhead in this river. Um, they stocked it about a week ago with steelhead. Um, so at this point, the fish could be anywhere, but I'm, I'm excited to be out here. Let's get started. Guys, a steelhead just went for my lure. That was a giant fish. I knew there would be one back there. I saw the wake. Oh, it scared me so bad. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna switch this lure over to my spinning rod just so I can cast a little bit farther and uh, I'll be right back. All right guys, so you'll notice that my spinning setup is a little different than uh, it has been in recent videos. So I've still got the six foot six medium action Eagle Claw rod, but instead of my Ugly Stick GX2 reel, I have this red Zebco Genesis reel. Um, you guys have never seen this reel before, but between me and my dad, this reel has a lot of history. Uh, my dad bought it six years ago um, when he first got uh, fishing with me. He did some fishing when he was a kid, but he kind of took a hiatus from fishing for a while. Uh, but when I turned nine and wanted to learn how to fish, he went out and bought uh, the Zebco Genesis combo, which included this reel. The rod has since been lost, but the reel has remained with us for a long time. Um, and it's kind of on its last leg. It's caught loads of trout. And uh, so I thought I'd bring it out for kind of, uh, I'd use it till, it till it goes out and then we'll retire it properly. So uh, yeah, this reel makes some strange sounds. It, it, it got stepped on at one point. so some of the gears and stuff are out of line so you'll hear some grinding and stuff but otherwise this is still in working order and uh it's got eight pound mono on it so it should be just fine if we hook and do a steelhead so uh let's get back to fishing i'm still fishing that same spinner that same blue fox spinner i showed you guys earlier i've just transferred it to my spinning rod Well guys, this spinning setup is casting just about as far as the bait caster. I guess I was able to get the bait caster to max castability. And uh, the bait caster is a lot better suited for this type of fishing. Uh, so I'll go put the spinner back on that. Um, so I'll be back in a minute. All right guys, so I'm back on the bait caster and uh, we are back in action so let's uh let's keep trying to uh catch these elusive steelhead i may not catch them today but that is perfectly okay i'm still gonna publish this video because as i'm fishing i'm collecting uh thoughts in my head i just like you know thoughts and impressions um about steelhead fishing so i thought i'd share those at the end of the video well guys, there you have it. My first uh, fishing trip for steelhead. 
Uh, I didn't end up reeling in any fish. I just had that one big follow. Um, but I'd like to take this outro just to kind of uh, sum up my thoughts. Um, I, steelhead fishing is kind of a competitive sport in a sense. Uh, a lot of people uh, like to get out there and uh, in that particular river, steelhead are stocked. They are not, they are not wild. They're captured. Some of them are captured from somewhere else and transferred to that river, but others are um, just hatchery fish that are stocked in there. Um, so it's it's a very it's a very competitive deal. Um, very high pressure. The fish are super finicky, and I was I was probably pretty lucky just to get that one follow. But uh, it was a good time. It's always good to go fishing. Um, I mean. That, that that was a big fish. It was probably three to five pounds. Um, so either either it was a steelhead or just a giant regular freshwater trout. Uh, but either way, really cool time. Real had a really good time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one, and uh, see you in the next one.